It was a unanimous vote Friday. Motion carries. I would say congratulations, Commissioner. Senator Manny Diaz is taking over for outgoing Commissioner Richard Corcoran and leading a department serving about 2.8 million students. The Republican wants to hit the ground running, ready to first end FSA testing and start addressing the teacher shortage. Any of the strides that we've made in this state up to this point don't matter if you don't continue to build on them. The governor nominated Diaz earlier this month. He's been a public teacher, coach, assistant principal, and since 2013 worked as an administrator at a private junior college. The father of four has supported charter and private schools during his time in the legislature and says he's aligned with Governor Ron DeSantis' education agenda. This year, that included a critical race theory ban and prohibition of gender identity and sexual orientation instruction in K-3 through classrooms. Diaz will be tasked with executing both. We're going to implement the law. We're going to follow the law. All of our schools are going to follow the law. And that's that's the way, you know, that it's very clear the intent of the legislature and, and the governor's signature. The appointment has the support of conservative groups like Americans for Prosperity. The culture war, whatever you want to call it, education is at the forefront of voters' minds right now. And Manny Diaz is the man for the hour. But critics have questioned whether he's too close to private and charter schools. Even so, he nabbed bipartisan support from old colleagues like Senator Bill Montfort. He's a man of great integrity. He's a man that will listen to opposing views. He will always, always make the right decision for what's best for students. Diaz now assumes the position on June 1st and will serve at the pleasure of the Ed Board.